from the cosmos, from the view of the universe, we see human beings as the wholeness. When we diagnose things, that we do not isolate symptom itself. Rather, we go whole person, his whole body, mind, as the long said, the spiritual aspect, social aspects, and environment, social, natural environment, climate, and weather. From all these large view, we see what kinds of condition now. In order to understand that, that we must have the common factor, which is universally <coughs> common for all these factors, social issues and the natural problems and physical problems, mental problems, etc. That is, if we see material way, materialistic way, then we cannot understand energies, atmospheres, climatic change, temperature change, etc. not so easily. So we have to see non-material way. That non-materialistic view Oriental microbiotic medicine use so-called word of ki. ki. That is, it's very difficult to translate. You may translate into energy, vibration, or invisible force. And weather is understood from energy. Body understood from energy. Food understood from energy. And our behavior, our thinking, understood from energy or vibration. This is a common base. Then we see from these energies or vibration have two tendencies. One is expanding force, expanding tendency, and the other is contracting tendency. One is going upward tendency, another is going downward tendency. So there we divide very largely in and the yang. In is expansive, yang is contractive, in is centrifugal, yang is centripetal, and this two different tendencies governing all over all phenomena. And matter is there, and there certain balance between expanding force and contracting force. But this matter does not stay one state, constantly changing, either expanding or contracting. So, proportion of yin and yang, constantly changing. Nothing stays same. <coughs> Liver, certain time may contract, certain other time may expand. Heart, every day, expansion, contraction going on. Breathing, breathing out, breathing in going on. Behaviors, arm is contraction, expansion going on, leg contraction and expansion going on, body contraction and expansion going on, 
the sum food is intake, then we are going discharge expansion going on. And so every phenomena, not only body phenomena, societies also contraction and expansion going on. This is therefore universal principles for whatever phenomena exist. Psychological phenomena, same things, sometimes depressed, sometimes hyper, sometimes very active, sometimes very inactive. And laying down, sleeping, sometimes wake up and become active, <coughs> rest and the movement. And various those, all phenomena governed by those two different tendencies. Largely speaking, that tendencies, if we say on the earth, tendency <coughs> force <coughs> coming from outside of the earth, that means you may say cosmological force, cosmic force, or heaven's force, is representing which side? In force or young force? Young force, contracting force. While in force is when us rotate, generate, generating expanding force, that we call earth force. <coughs> Suppose very abstract words but temporary we call heaven's force, earth's force. Then between those two forces, all phenomena which grow or change, born and die upon the earth, governed by those two forces. And these, two forces appear at large five different stages in force expanding. You may say earth force, young force contracting, that is Heaven's force. Then between that, we have upward energy. Very expand and active energies. downward energy. Contracting energies. Then floating energy. <coughs> then upward energy. Change from in to yang, yang to in, change. So naturally, upward energy contradict to downward energy. If upward energy is strong, downward energy don't happen. If expanding active energy happens, don't happen the contract energy. If downward energy become very active, then it doesn't happen, floating energy. Contracting energy very strong, then don't happen, upward energy. And floating energy very strong, <coughs> don't happen, expand active energy. So these contradicting, conflicting tendency among the energies there, Ancient time, in order to explain to the general people, 
we use, they use the examples. Upward energy, something like three. Expand and active energy, something like fire. Downward energy, something like soil. Contracting energy, something like metal. Floating energy, something water. Use examples. If this theory is more than A, we can say this is more liquid <coughs> state, this is more gas state, this is, this is more plasma, right? plasmic state, like electronics going on. This is more like condensation process, <coughs> this is more the solid state, etc. Right? Expressions might be changed. But ancient time used simple, visible, understandable examples. Then <coughs> this theory, although this theory is energy transformation theories for five states, later people lost its meaning and they started to say universe are created by five different element materials. So this they start to call five element theory, which is totally misunderstandings. Not five element theory, five transgression, five, trans, five stage of transforming energy, the theories. Then, between these principles, we see the diagnosis. And when we see diagnosis, therefore we must see environment, and we must see what we take in, environment and food. This you may say external condition. Food and drink. That we say internal condition. Making internal condition. Between that activity, behavior, organs, condition, etc., all arise. This is more large factor. This is more small factor. When we do diagnosis, there are many ways. And from this coming out many ways. There are about 12 different basic the way of diagnosis are there. First, visual diagnosis. <coughs> Second, pulse diagnosis. Third, meridian diagnosis. Fourth, the behavior, behavior diagnosis. From action, behavior, or habits we see Five, the astrological uh, 
astrological diagnosis. When what year we are born, and what month, what day, and what time we are born. Six, environmental diagnosis. Where they were born, where they were growing, where they were living, its weather, climate, and geological conditions, either above the mountain or lower the valley, or the seashore, or the in inland, as well as whether more natural rural area or more living in the cities, and also what kind of house they were living, and more specifically, what kinds of room he is using, etc. Those environmental diagnosis. The seven ancestral ancestral <coughs> diagnosis. What kind of father, what kind of mother, what kinds of ancestors. Therefore, what kinds of constitution, physical, mental constitution he has. Eight, the thought diagnosis, thought. from his thinking, from his way of the, the thinking or reacting things that we diagnose what kinds of trouble or health conditions. Nine, more detailed psychological Diagnosis. For example, if you blink too much, huh? too much blink, you are a very sensitive person. That means, if I blink too much, because what kind of food taking? Too much liquid, huh? too much liquid much water, too much fruit juice, too much fruits. Okay? So naturally, what kind of organ is most affected? Kidney. Okay? So blinking goes. And psychologically, what kind of psychology? <coughs> he is stable or he is unstable? He is unstable. Okay? And kidney also troubles. Okay? These the yeah, psychological diagnosis can be done by take a look or see the behavior or listening to that speech so forth. And then 10, expression. Expression, especially like speech, was lighting. Etc. Right? Eleven. Spiritual diagnosis. <coughs> what kinds of karma he has? What kinds of dead person's spirit or thought bothering him or encouraging him? Around here, modern medicine is cannot see. Twelve aura, 
or vibrational diagnosis. The aura goes through covering our body, especially this area, seeing that and making diagnosis. Generally, 12 category of major way of diagnosis there. But principle is all here, same principle. Because this is vibrational aspect. The spiritual diagnosis is also vibrational problems. Expression, speech, words, lighting, also vibrational problems. Psychological problem, also vibrational problems. Thought is vibrational problems. Ancestral condition, environmental condition, weather, climate, etc., all vibrational problems. Astrological, also vibrational problems. All these things are, can be understood, <coughs> the energy vibrations, individual, in, invisible forces. This. So, the, in order to diagnose, you yourself to be the clean and the sensitive, to be very responsive, responsible, the receptable, these delicate vibration. So a person who diagnosed very well should have very clean, good condition. This type of diagnosis, therefore, individual abilities, personal individual abilities, make big difference. The modern medical diagnosis, like cardiograph going on, or X-ray going on, this going on, uh, the doctor who diagnosed that even if he's sick or even if he's healthy, it's not so much different. Of course, some interpretation different. Some doctor say that, that you, they're seeing the x-ray this way, that way. Some other doctor say that, that that's, that's not so. That's, of course, various opinions are there. But interpreted, mechanically interpreted data are the practically same. So interpretation is not so much different. Even the person who diagnose are different. But in oriental and mac macrobiotic view of diagnosis is, unless you are really clean and really sensitive, really cannot do clear diagnosis. If you are very bad eating, like heavy meat, heavy fat, and heavy huh, alcohol or whatever, and become very insensitive, then you cannot see clearly these, these diagnoses. Okay. So if you like to make diagnosis clearly, number one, you have to eat very good, like macrobiotic way. Number two, your life should be orderly. And number three, you better have the habit to meditate. And also you should have the keeping constant to your condition is health, health, health. Then, together with that, these diagnoses become endless depths revealed to you. This type of diagnosis, many of them lost. About 200 years ago, one person came out. <coughs> His name is Mizuno Namboku.
the, it, it, it became famous because when he see, then he can see very accurately. So, came very famous like Namboku diagnosis, Namboku way of diagnosis. But that book also is very difficult book, abstract and very difficult book. And some of the diagnosis in the Oriental classic still remain like pulse diagnosis. Some of visual diagnosis, etc. And here and there, some remains. The, but as a whole comprehensive way, until macrobiotic come out, was not again reorganized, revitalized. In order to understand myself, diagnosis, I have to stand, I had to stand in New York several months the Hughes Avenue, Times Square, and watching thousand, thousand people every day, every day, every day. And recovered, together with eating very simply, recovered the ability, which everyone has it, recovered the ability to see the people. <coughs> Still now, because I have been habit, I have been habited uh, to see the people. So still now, while I'm working right, or while I'm in restaurants, I watch the people. And still running going on, right? constant, constant. Because diagnosis, this diagnosis, as you can see very easily, diagnosis of life not only present day conditions, the parents' conditions, the spiritual conditions, their past and their future. We have to see it. Not only present day conditions. So constant depths, infinite <coughs> depths is there. And practically speaking, Training diagnosis is whole life problems. That means the equal understanding what is the man, what is human being is. And that diagnosis also can be transferred immediately, diagnosis of plants, diagnosis of animals diagnosis of mountains, diagnosis of right, house, diagnosis of cities, or towns, or rivers, etc. So endless application goes, because principle saying. Then we cannot cover all those things. Actually, it takes many days to, to introduce all those scope. But today, here and there sampling right, goes, OK? Now, why don't you make several friends, make group. Maybe four friends make group, please make. Two groups here, two, three groups here, right, please. diagnosis. Let's sample from here. Among visual diagnosis, largely speaking, two type of diagnosis. One is we see 
Anyway, we see for yin and yang, that means antagonistic complementary relation we see fast. That means body, head <coughs> is antagonistic complementary relation. Inside, periphery, also antagonistic complementary relation. Front, back, also antagonistic complementary relation. That means, if we see periphery, then we understand inside what the organ, how it goes. If we see the head, face, we understand what's going on, the body. If we see the back, where tightness, where swollenness, what place is the more loose, more tight, etc., then we know front part of organ, how going on. When we see front, what kinds of condition goes to the back, etc. Okay. You know, the antagonistic complementary relation we see. Here we samples. <coughs> Past face and the body. This face is complementary antagonistic expression, relation between body, with body. This part is center, center of body, okay? center. The toes up, toes down, to be correlating each other. If suppose head and body same size, then leg goes and goes, okay? And the mouse, for example, okay? Then suppose here, organ A, that exists symmetrically. Organ B exists symmetrically. Exists symmetrically. Okay? But, our human body, this is seven times bigger. This is one, one and seven ratio. That means compacted form of body is head. Or body is expanded form of head. Simple speaking, simply speaking, here, we have the organ called intestine. So this should be naturally here, right? Here we have what? What organ? Brain. So brain and the intestine is correlating each other. Brain is condensed form of intestines, or intestine is very expanded form of brains. So, when you have, when you cannot think well, or if you are sleepy, if your mental psychological activity is not clear, that means immediately you must know that is intestinal trouble is there, okay? either constipation, gas formation, 
or diary or whatever. Right? Immediately you have to know it. Okay? And also, if intestinal trouble is there, immediately you have to know his thinking is not clear. His judgment is not clear. Okay? Practically speaking, nine, more than nine out of ten, more than 90 percent of the people, modern societies, intestinal tracts, either gas formation, constipation, or diarrhea, or irregularity of the bowel movement, etc., going on. That means more than 90 percent of people's thinking is not clear. Though he may be thinking clear, but it's not according to his real capacities, real abilities. <coughs> he's not using 100%. He's using only 20, 30, 40%. Because day to day go like that way, so he think I'm using brain enough. No, it's not. So if this become very good condition, this become very good condition. Okay? Vice versa. Then, same way, the, here we have like lungs. Then naturally, that correlate where? Cheek. Cheek. So if you see color of cheek or the cheek is more expanded, more fatter or more skinny, skinny, by that you can see this condition. Or cheek has pimples, then here you must know the various fat mucus accumulation there. This is pimples, of course. Then, between two lungs goes heart. Heart. This heart, so correlate where? Between cheek? Yeah. yeah. So, if we do nose like that, this correlate each other the anterior, the left light chamber, left chamber. Okay. So if you have no split here, yeah. okay. split, this is there, like tip of nose, like become like that. Okay. <coughs> Many of them like that. Then, naturally, left and right anterior is not together. So this beating, that means receiving blood, go send to lung. This is receiving from lung and send to the whole body. Right? This beating, this beating is not harmony. Not in harmony. That means. Irregular beating, heart murmuring going on. If this, okay. so many people like that, so many. In Western countries, modern societies, nine out of ten. Like that. Okay. Then. If this nose 
is swarm, expand, right? more expand, right? swarm. Swarmness made by what? What kind of food? Too much? Watermelon? Fruit juice? Or liquid? Sugary food, open sesame desert, <laughs> etc. Eh? Swarm. That means heart is swarm. Eh? Heart is swarm. And naturally, swarm heart need high blood pressure, high pressure to send blood that when high blood pressure goes, cheek of the capillaries, capillaries, come out, how goes? Capillary in the cheek, if high blood <coughs> pressure goes, then comes what? More coming to the surface and becoming red cheek, red cheek. If high blood pressure. But if more swarm, more swarm, more expand the heart, then we lose this power. Okay? Then what goes? Low blood pressure. Okay? Low blood pressure goes. Another high blood pressure is not necessarily expand. Another high blood pressure is accumulating like cholesterol or too much salty food. Then blood vessels, blood vessels, arteries becoming narrow. So blood goes, pressure goes. Certain blood pass narrow place. So pressure becomes higher. That type of the blood pressure, right? high blood pressure is there. That is, this becoming more fatty, okay? more fatty. As well as nose becoming fatty. The would be bigger, but more fatty. Something like American cheese that all clogged inside or meat clogged in such kind of impression, fatty. <coughs> then, here you have stomach. And pancreas. Stomach pancreas is further more down. That means stomach pancreas is up. More, yeah. yeah, more. If this become contract pancreas, the gathering, gathering hard fat saturated fat, such as cheese, poetry, chicken, eggs, <coughs> hard fat. Then this become tighter. Then this become, when this become tighter, this pancreas secreting two hormones, usually, okay? insulin and anti-insulin. Insulin is making fat. Insulin, anti-insulin. Insulin is making fat. If insulin come out, how 
goes. Our sugar level, how goes? Down. Sugar level. Anti-insulin come out. Our sugar level go up. These two is two type of hormone. Which is in, which is young? Insulin is young. Sugar level go down. Anti-insulin. Those in and yang, two insulin come out from pancreas. Same thing, all hormones, like thyroid, parathyroid hormone, gonad, male, female hormone, pituitary gland, the more front, front and more back hormones. Various hormones have a pair. In hormone, young hormone goes. Okay. And anyway, 